This is our lesson two in geometry. Geometry. Got lost in my spelling there for a second. Geometry. Lesson two in geometry, and today's lesson is on angles. And if you're looking behind these title cards, you'll notice something that we talked about yesterday. Yesterday we talked about a bunch of different lines and how lines may intersect. But And we also mentioned uh, the word rays. And if you pick that up from looking at that background screen, you are correct. We're going to draw some rays again today. And let me get my tool set up here. I want a stopping sp or starting spot and no ending spot. That's what a ray looks like. Here's an example of a ray. It goes off in uh, one direction. It has a starting point, but it doesn't have a stopping point. Well, today's lesson is on angles, as we said before. I'm going to write that word down again, angles. And an angle, uh, is, an angle is formed by two rays. Well, let's see. What does that look like? Let me get that ray tool again. Two rays. This is a little bit hard for me to do because I've got to make sure to have the same starting point. Here's one ray, and now if I start at the same point, that's the hard part to line that up. Here's another ray. Oh, that makes an angle. So this area between here is called an angle. An angle. Let me see if I can make another one. I'm going to start. Well, here's I, got, I have one ray. Let me see if I can start another ray here and we got to go back to get our tools and here we go we're going to start this ray oh it was off just a little bit but that area between those two rays this area is called an angle now that we've talked about angles and we know that the area between two rays is an angle we're looking at these figures here and we're going to look for the angles in these figures well if you can imagine a ray being on this corner, <clears throat> excuse me, this is called an angle here. And so we're going to count the angles in this figure. So there's one angle here, and there's another angle here, another angle here, and a fourth angle right there. So this figure has four angles. Going on to the figure to the right, we'll count the angles again. One, two, three, four, five, six. This figure has six angles. Moving along clockwise, we're looking at the angle here, and here, and here, and here, and here. So we can see that this figure has five angles. Looking at the next figure we could recognize as a triangle, there's an angle there, here's an angle, and there's an angle. This figure has three angles. And on to the last figure, if we look at this one, we're going to look again for the area that would be between two rays, and I'm just going to remind us the ray has a starting point and no stopping point. And there's two rays there, and there's an angle between them. There's one angle, two, three, four, five. So this has five angles. We're going to be talking about three different kinds of angles today. Now let's look at angles and we realize that they have some special names. Let's we'll start with drawing a ray and let's see if I can line this starting spot up. Oh, I did pretty well with that. These two rays make a special angle and we're going to go back to that little piece of paper and remember when we had perpendicular lines if we could set a piece of paper in this angle and it fit perfectly then we had a 90 degree angle and they were perpendicular. Well, this 90 degrees also indicates to us that these or this angle is a right angle. I want to remember that right angle. If it has 90 degrees or if the piece of paper sits in there, it's called a right angle. Well, I'm going to go back and draw some more rays. And let me do one here and there. And oh, if I just rotate, you know, that ray open and close, it's kind of like the hands of a clock, isn't it? It's kind of the hour hand and the minute hand. Um, and it can be a right angle, which is about there. It can be greater than a right angle. It can be less than a right angle. And we're going to stop right there. And the area that we're looking at, of course, is this angle in here. This is where the angle is measured. And that is less than a right angle. And that has a name, and we call it acute. This is an acute angle. 
less than 90 degrees. Well, we're going to make another set of rays here. We'll do another angle. And let's see. Oh, yeah, it looks kind of like the hands of a clock, doesn't it? And <clears throat> this would be an acute angle. It's less than 90 degrees. This is about a 90 degree angle right there. You see a piece of paper could fit in there. And then anything more than 90 degrees is called an obtuse angle. So if we just look at this angle right here, it's more than 90 degrees. And we say that that one is an obtuse angle. So we have three different angles that we've named here today. One was our right angle. The next one we had named was our acute angle. It's less than right, uh, less than a uh, right angle. And then the third one was the obtuse angle, which is more than a right angle. On these angles, we didn't name them as being a right angle or an obtuse angle or an acute angle. But let's go to the next screen and we'll take a look at these and what we're looking for in this set of figures is just the right angles. If we take our little piece of paper and I just drew one in there as best I could freehand and remember that that can fit in a corner someplace then we have a right angle. Well let's take a look at this figure first of all. Well there aren't any right angles in a circle. So if we're trying to figure out how many right angles for this one, we'll just say zero. Uh, let's take a look at this square next. Here's the square, and we're looking for right angles. Yes, yeah, so that piece of paper will fit in that corner. That piece of paper will fit here, and here, and here. So we say that this square has four right angles. How about this next one over here, this rectangle? Oh, again, in the corner, that piece of paper will fit. There's one, two, three, four. That rectangle has four right angles. Well, let's take a look at this, this triangle over here. This triangle is kind of a special triangle, and I've set it in such a way so that we might have to look a little bit more carefully. But if I take a look at that triangle, and maybe I just need to rotate it just a little bit, and then Oh, I see. If I rotate it like that and take a look at this piece of paper here, I can see that, oh yes, that piece of paper should fit perfectly in that corner. So this triangle is called a right triangle because it has one right angle right there. So this one has one right angle in it. Uh, let's go on and take a look at that figure. It almost looks like a J here. There's one right angle there, and there's one there, and there's one there. So this right, or this figure has three right triangles. This figure here, no, a piece of paper is not going to fit in this corner, or an, I should say angle, since we know that term now. A piece of paper won't fit in that angle, and a piece of paper won't fit. So this triangle has no right angle, so we'll say zero for that one. This figure here has a right angle here, and one here. There's a third one, and a fourth one, and a fifth one, and a sixth one. Those are, this figure has six right angles. And let's see, we forgot to label for the rectangle has four right angles. On this screen now, we're going to tell what kind of angle each figure has. And it's been indicated with these angle marks, these two rays, which make an angle here, which angle they'd like us to identify as being either an acute angle, a right angle, or an obtuse angle. Well, let's look at that first figure, the rectangle. That's this one over here, of course. And if we look at the rectangle and we look at this angle here that they've got indicated with those rays, we know that, oh, a piece of paper would fit there, so that one would be considered a right angle. So that one's a right angle on that one. Uh, we take a look at our square next here, and we've got this set of rays in this corner. And we can take a look at, oh yes, a piece of paper will fit into that one. So that one is also a right angle. So we've got two right angles here. I'll put that one side by side. Let's look at this figure here up in the top here. Um, it looks almost like a house top up there. But we're looking again at the angles indicated by these rays, the red rays there. And those are more than a right angle. So we would have to say that, oh, 
that is rep that represents an obtuse angle. That one up there is obtuse. And then the last figure over here, this set of rays is less than 90 degrees. So that must be, oh, that's an acute angle. The last thing we're going to take a look at today before we start the homework page is this little house. And in here, there are some places where there are some right angles. If you study it, can you see where there's some right angles? I've got this little piece of paper up here to help guide me. I'm going to just grab that piece of paper and pull it down here. If that fits in the corner, I know, or in an angle, I know that that's a right angle. So there's one right angle there. How about this? Oh, yeah, there's a right angle there. Oh, there's another one. There are quite a few right angles in this simple drawing of a house. And if you would take a look at your workbook page now, this is page 112. As we look at your workbook page, this is page 112. And we talked today about angles. And we said angles were made from two rays that start at the same time point. Then we talked about different kinds of angles. We talked about right angles, and we talked about an acute angle being less than a right angle, and we talked about obtuse angles being greater than a right angle. Now, for your assignment today, uh, we've done many of these things in the examples on the screens, but here's the instructions here. It says, how many angles does each figure have? And we're just counting the angles for each one of those. Well, that's not too difficult. I think you'll have great success with that. If you look at the next set of instructions, it asks for how many right angles each figure has. Uh, number eight is kind of a tricky one. Be careful of that one right there in that corner. Um, remember, angles are on the inside of the figure. If you take a look at the last set, or uh, the next set, I should say, of instructions, it says tell if the angle is a right angle, an acute angle or an obtuse angle. You have to write those words on the lines for number nine. And they want you to take a look at that set of rays and tell what kind of angle that represents. Or number 10, here's the set of rays here. Or 11, here's the set of rays. And then 12, oh, they're giving an actual ice cream cone, it looks like. Uh, tell what kind of angle is at the tip of that ice cream cone. And then number 13 is a, our problem solving um, example, and we had already looked at that in the previous slide, and it asks you to look at this picture and tell how many right angles you see. Well, good luck, luck with that. Uh, again, looking forward to seeing your work and seeing your success as you navigate through angles in this unit on geometry.